Welcome to Penguin Paradise. Amidst the wind and ice of Antarctica, the Adelie penguins make their summer home. The climate here is difficult at best, but the Adelies are well adapted. In fact, they can thrive in these conditions. But things are changing in Antarctica. It's warming up and the ice is melting. There may be trouble in Penguin Paradise. Penguins are perhaps one of the most loved animals. Their human-like behavior attracts our attention and fascinates young and old alike. It's easy to see the individual personalities and thought processes when each penguin chooses the best way to cross the stream. Though highly aquatic and at home in the sea, Adelie penguins avoid the water when possible. They enter the ocean reluctantly and then only to feed. After all, it's in the water that they may encounter their number one enemy, the leopard seal. This one seems to want to find a better place to cross the stream. Let's see, how does it look here? No, maybe we better go back. Okay, how about here? To better understand the impacts of climate change on the Antarctic ecosystem, this team of biologists, led by Dr. David Ainley, has traveled to Ross Island, Antarctica each summer for the past seven years. They hope to describe the ecological factors which regulate the fluctuating penguin populations. With the help of the U.S. Coast Guard, the team of scientists heads ashore. Like the canary in the coal mine, penguins can serve as indicators of climate change. Doing a little chick conditioning over there. We'll go over and take a look. In order to measure the health of the penguin colony, a few of the approximately 50,000 chicks are caught, measured, and released. This year's chicks appear to be well fed and are growing rapidly. Most of these chicks were born in late December. It is now two months later, and they are beginning to lose their gray-colored down. Once the water-resistant black and white plumage of the adults grows in, the young birds can enter the water to feed. Until they do, they seem to be constantly hungry. They harass and chase the parents incessantly for more food. The only escape is to go back into the ocean. When they return from their foraging trip, they seem to have no problem finding their nest and chicks among the masses. Adults and chicks can recognize each other by voice. I can really hear the glacier creaking. There's big chunks of ice coming off every now and then. And out in the distance you can see a huge iceberg, which is a piece of the Ross ice shelf that broke off. The temperatures in the Antarctic Peninsula have increased as much as four and a half degrees in the past 50 years. This appears to be creating a faster sea ice melt-off and more open ocean water earlier in the summer. The glaciers are flowing faster to the sea, 
and enormous icebergs are breaking off the ice shelves. One recent iceberg measured 170 miles in length and contained an area of over 4,000 square miles. These changes in the Antarctic climate mirror warming seen around the globe, but at the poles the effects are magnified and much easier to measure. For the penguins, these changes may have serious consequences. Penguins, as well as seals, whales, fish, all survive on krill. Without the seasonal ice, which covers the southern ocean in winter and melts off in the summer, the krill disappear. It seems they depend on algae and plankton associated with the ice. Without the ice, there is no krill. Without the krill, the entire marine food web of the Antarctic may falter. The penguins enter the water very cautiously, always aware that there may be a leopard seal lying in ambush. After returning from a feeding trip that may last anywhere from one to four or five days, the chicks are quickly fed and the responsibilities of the male and female are swapped. One bird will stay and watch the young while the other goes out to get more food for the growing chick. Weddell seals are another common inhabitant of these Antarctic waters. Like the Adelis, they feed on krill. When the adults return from a foraging trip, they immediately return to the nest and regurgitate food for the chicks. To better understand the diet of the Adelis, we examine some of the food that's regurgitated. It consists pretty much of krill with some fish. This one is an Antarctic ice fish, known for its amazing ability to withstand water that's below freezing. It has an antifreeze compound in its blood so that it can do this. This penguin is outfitted with a radio transmitter. You can see the antenna sticking out near its tail. We use the transmitters to track where the penguins are traveling to get food. What we have found is that the Adelie penguins consistently travel to the areas adjacent to the edge of the ice. Doing a little telemetry out here on Inclusion Hill, trying to track some penguins. I can hear a little pinging sound when I get the area lined up with the compass heading that the penguin's on, and then down below here I've got a compass so I can tell what degree the penguin's swimming at. And we've got other people right now over at Cape Bird and Cape Royds, and we'll triangulate their position. You can hear the beep of Bird 75 out there somewhere. Got him on a heading at 270 degrees. Good steady beep indicating he's swimming rather than diving. If he dives, the beep will disappear and you won't be able to hear it. To understand why the ice edge is so popular among the Adelis, one only need visit. This is where you see a lot of action. Here a group of Adelis marches in toboggans along the ice edge. You might wonder why they are not in the water swimming. Well, there's a large pod of orcas patrolling the edge. Though orcas don't normally prey on penguins, Adelis might make a tasty snack. The Antarctic food web is complex, but compared to less severe climates, the relatively few players make it easier for us to understand. What we have just begun to comprehend is how climate change impacts key organisms at the base of the food chain, such as the krill. The krill in turn dictate the populations of larger predators, Adeli penguins and killer whales. Like the coal miner, we must heed the call of the canary. The changes now taking place in Antarctica may in the future have a larger significance across the globe. By paying attention to Antarctica's Adelie penguins, perhaps we can better understand our own role in the Earth's delicate climate balance.